Potato time for the potato boy. Potatoes for all of us to enjoy. Come on and celebrate with the potato boy. Math Potatoes by Greg Tang Illustrated by Harry Briggs Mathter Cards Texas Hold'em 5-card draw 7-card stud And Omaha The trick is knowing when to hold When to raise And when to fold Can you add up every card? The problem isn't very hard a straight, a flush, a pair of threes. Try one of each. It's a breeze. Now, the easiest way to add up all these cards, instead of just adding them up by one, one by one, is to look for the like cards. For example, I see I have three, one, two, three times, and three times 3 equals 9. And then again, I see I have 6, 1, 2, 3 times. And 6 times 3 equals 18. And I see that I have 4, 1, Two, three times, and four times three equals twelve. And I see that I have five, one, two times, and five times two equals ten. And then I see I have 9 one time, and then if I group my 2 and my 7 together, that would make another 9, because 2 plus 7 equals 9. And 9 times 2 equals 18. And then all that leaves is an 8. Now, put all that together, I have... 9, 18, 12, 10, 18 again, and 8. Make your total. So, even adding these up, I see I have 18, 9, nine plus 8 makes 17, plus 2 is 19, 0, eh, nothing, 19 plus 9, though, would be 27, plus 8 more would be 35. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. So all together, there are 75. Sock Hop At the dance, the socks all mingle. Most are paired, but some are single. They do their best to keep the beat. Please excuse the two left feet. How many socks are hanging out? Watch them as they twist and shout. Look around for groups of five. Then get set to jump and jive. Now, to add up all these socks easily, let's take the advice of the poem and look around for groups of five. How many groups of five do you see? I see one group of five there, another here, 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 another
another here, and then one more at the bottom. So, what multiplication sentence is represented by these groups of five? Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six groups of five. So, six groups of five would be six times five. What does that equal? Six times five, count by five, you have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Six times five equals thirty. So there are thirty socks. Vegetables. A squash will squash you on the ground. And beets will beat you up and down. But onions poke you in the eye. They're the ones that make you cry. Can you count the bullies here? There's a fast way. Have no fear. In every group, imagine three. Then subtract what you can't see. So, the easy way to define our total here is to first of all, put these into groups. So I see there I have in the group, I have three, 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 three. The only one that's missing, that's not three, is this two right here. However, if I imagine one more onion, that makes that three. So if we do the same with each of these groups, there's three, 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 three there. And here, if I add imaginary onions, then I'll have three and three, 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 three there. And then I have three, three, Oh, imaginary onion, then three, three, three there. So, in every group, I have three, one, two, three, four, five times. What is five times three? Five times three is fifteen. So that means, in each of the groups, there's 15. So 15 once, twice, three times, and four times. So, what is 15 times four? Well, if you use the area model, you see that 15 times four equals 60. Now, we need to take away the three imaginary onions we added. There's one, two, three, four, excuse me, the four imaginary onions. So, taking those away, that's going to be 60 minus four, which equals 56. So there's 56 total bully onions. Gotta watch out for those vegetables. Shell shock. I've never understood too well how oceans fit inside a shell. Hold a conch up to your ear. Crashing waves are what you hear. How many shells have washed ashore? Find a smart way to keep score. Squares will yield the right amount, as long as you don't double count. So, in other words, if I try to count these by making squares, you'll end up counting some shells twice. So, that's really not the best advice. So instead, 
let's make the square minus the corner. And you'll see when you do that, you're creating equal groups. How much is in each group that we're making? You'll see that each group has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All except for this middle square, which just has nine. So how many times do we have eight? Well, we have eight once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, and eight times. So what is 8 times 8 equal? 8 times 8 equals 64. Now we have to add in our extra 9. So we have 64 from our groups of 8 plus my one lone group of 9. And 64 plus 9 equals 73. For seven's sake, I gaze into the evening sky, think great thoughts, and wonder why. Planets, stars, the Milky Way, and window into yesterday. Can you count each shining star? The answer isn't very far. When you look into the heavens, try to think in groups of sevens. So to find our total star number, number of stars here, let's take the advice of the poem and locate our groups of seven. How many groups of sevens do you see? I see one group of seven there, because four plus three is seven. Another group of seven here. And another group of seven there. And then another group of seven there. And another group of seven there. And another group of seven there. So all together, that's seven times one, two, three, four, five, six groups that we have. What does seven times six equal? Seven times six equals 42. So there are 42 stars. Math potatoes. Boiled and baked and often mashed, peeled and fried and sometimes hashed. No wonder spuds hide underground. Life is painful when they're found. Can you add up all these poor souls for whom the bell already tolls? In groups of ten, you'll hear their cries. Please don't turn us into fries! Okay, now, so, to find our total number of potatoes, let's take the advice of the poem and make groups of ten. So, I see right here, I have five and five, which makes ten. Then I see I have 6 here, put that with 4, and you have another 10. And again, 6 and 4 make 10. And then the 7 with this 3, that makes 10. And this 3 with this 7 also makes 10. So, all together we have one, two, three, four, five groups of ten. What multiplication sentence is represented by that? Well, we have five groups times ten in each. That's going to be five times ten, which equals fifty.